Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about Russia's fifth generation stealth fighter, the Su-57 Felon, is finally going to enter service in the Russian Air Force. The aircraft will be no longer on the developmental and testing phase, 12 years after its maiden flight. It was only later this year that UAC or United Aircraft Corporation in the Sukhoi Design Bureau announced the start of the aircraft's mass production. The Russian Air Force has placed an order for 76 aircraft in 2019. The Su-57 is among the highly touted project of the Russian Ministry on Defense this past decade. The other one, which is still on the developmental stage, is the mighty T-14 Armada. The Russian Air Force expects to receive four aircraft each year for 2021 and 2022, seven aircrafts for 2023 and 2024, and then 18 each year for 2025, 2026, and 2027 to complete the orders. So far as of 2022, there are currently 17 Su-57 in the Russian inventory, seven serially produced and 10 aircrafts for testing. The Su-57 will be produced by Sukhoi Komsomolsk on Amur Aviation Plant. The first squadron of the Su-57 will be assigned to the 23rd Fighter Aviation Regiment based at Jamogi on Russia's Far East. The airbase also stationed Su-27 and Su-34 fighter jets, like its stealth counterpart from the U.S. and China, which are the F-22, the F-35, and J-20, the Su-57 is designed and made with radar-absorbing materials, and it has internal weapons bay for a lower radar cross-section, and it's a low-observable aircraft against different spectrum of radars. The only drawback for now is that the designed engine for the Su-57, which is the Saturn Isdeli-30 engine, is not going to be ready for service. The engine is still on development and might take a few years to finish testing and enter service. So for now, the Su-57 will be using the AL-41 F1 engine, similarly used by the 4th generation Plus Plus Su-35. Personally, I think Russians should do what the Chinese has done in the past. They previously used Russian engine until the more capable Super Cruise capable engine without afterburners was ready to be deployed on the J-20. It was only recently that China announced a phased out all Russian-made engine on their aircrafts. The Su-57 boasts a capability of flying at maximum speed of 2,135 km per hour, a maximum range of 2,200 km, combat range of 1,500 km, maximum takeoff weight of 35,000 kg, and an impressive service ceiling of 66,000 feet. For armament, the aircraft has 30mm auto cannon. For air-to-air -air missiles, it can carry the R-77, R-73 and R-37 missiles with maximum range of 193, 40, and 300 kilometers. It can also carry the R-35 and R-31 anti-ship missiles with maximum range of 130, 110 kilometers. It can also carry the KH-21 anti-radiation missile with a maximum range of 200 kilometers. Now the big question is, will we finally see the Su-57 to be regularly used for combat and patrol missions in Ukraine. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.